This is a message from the Emergency Podcast Broadcast System. Please listen closely for a very important episode of the Amish Baby Machine Pop Culture Podcast. Warning! The following podcast contains adult language and childish comedy. Listener discretion is advised. And now, please adjust your headphone volume to an unreasonable level and enjoy the most dynamic and electrifyingly entertaining podcast ever to conquer cyberspace. This is Amish Baby Machine. Hello, friends, and welcome to the most powerful podcast ever created, the Amish Baby Machine Pop Culture Podcast, starring me, Dags. Today is a powerful day. We have a powerful guest host, all the way from Red Sector A, the powerful Mike Rez. Good evening, afternoon, morning. Whenever you listen to your podcasts, thanks for having me to the barn, Dags. This is uh, it's very powerful, as, as you would say. It's power. Can you feel the energy in the barn? I can. And uh, it, it's amazing, you know, for the size of the barn, the sound quality in the recording is, is uh, stupendous. Impeccable, I might say. I do have a large size. It's very big. It's very powerful. <laughs> Welcome, fans. Welcome, Flock of Amish. We are in lockdown. We are in the concrete bunker, the barn surrounded by a Faraday cage to protect us from powerful EMPs. So what do you think, Mike Rez? Before we get into it, tell the kids, the flock of Amish, the fans, tell us about Mike Rez and your powerful podcast and radio show. All right, uh, Mike Rez, that's me. Um, and my, my powerful podcast slash radio show is called The 945 Show. Um, and it airs at 9.45 a.m., Wednesday mornings on Frogtown Community Radio. That's 94.1 FM in St. Paul. But you can also get it uh, via app and stream online at WFNU.org. Uh, with WFNU Radio. And uh, it's a show that I interview a lot of indie musicians from the Twin Cities. And uh, I want like to get their, their music out there and let people know who they are. We listen to their music. And I've also re- uh, recorded a few episodes with some podcasters around here, including yourself, Dags. Powerful. That was a powerful episode. Now, we're in the great state of Minnesota. St. Paul is one of the twin cities. I Let's... can't tell them apart. No. We are not identical twins. Powerful. Welcome, Mike Rez. Thank you. Again, I appreciate the invite. Um, and for people out there listening, um, we're wondering about social distancing. I'm on one end of the barn. You're way on the other end of the barn. See, so if I have to shout away from the mic, I hope people can understand that. Now, what are you wearing? Is that technically a baby doll or what kind of lingerie is that? Uh, I, th- I think it's some kind of teddy. It's lacy, though. It feels good. Bigger end of the world. Might as well be comfortable. I'm wearing powerful tight jeans with sequins. Ooh, very nice. I'm the bedazzler. Nice. Is that what that machine is over there? Or is that something else? Oh, that machine? Yeah, the one over there? It's powerfully steam-powered. Oh, okay. It's a little dusty. Yes, next to the powerful Galaga machine. (laughs) Now, this is a powerful retro 80s, powerful podcast. What's your favorite stand-up arcade machine, Mike Rez? Uh, I was a big fan of the Paperboy. That was a good one. You had the uh, the handlebar joystick at the arcade. I like that one. Um, Donkey Kong, of course, is an, a classic. It's actually uh, an arcade in uh, Oregon um, that uh, has nothing but the old stand-up machines. All the old ones, retro ones, takes quarters. There's a quarter per play. So that was pretty sweet. It had Donkey Kong joust. Double, remember Double Dragon? I do. Powerful Double Dragon. Yeah. So Double Dragon was sweet. So I like that one. Actually, when that one went to the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System for all the kids. Oh, is that what that stands for? Powerful. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, the uh, Double Dragon was one that I played quite a bit, so that was a lot of fun. My favorite was Dig Dug. Dig Dug's a good one. Do you remember Dig Dug? I do. That was powerful. You were a powerful miner, and you would burrow in the earth. You have a powerful weapon that would inflate your enemies. And uh, one of the enemies would shoot fire out of it. It was a dragon. The dragon, yep. Yes. And then they would turn into ghosts and somehow be able to Yeah, why do all the villains turn through. into ghosts? I don't, I don't know. It was in Pac-Man they were ghosts. Yeah, everything has a ghost back in the 80s, I think. Especially ghosts video in games. the machine. Yep. And Ghostbusters. Powerful. Yep. They had uh, Dig Dug Ghosts. And uh, I'm out. Now, speaking of powerful, tell the kids, the fans of Flock of Amish, I want to know about your social medias. Are you practicing distancing, the social media distancing? I've been practicing social media distancing before it became a thing. So uh, you can follow Mike Rez Radio on Facebook, also on Instagram, and on Twitter. You can find find me on all three of those locations. I'm usually active on one or the other. Uh, when I work the nine to five job and I'm on midnight shift, I'm on Twitter more than I'm on anything else. So if you find yourself awake between the hours of 10:30 p.m. and 6:30 a.m. and you're on Twitter, check it out. I might be awake or I might not be awake, but either way, I'm on Twitter checking it out. Powerful. Now, uh, as far as social media. Why don't you fire up your phone there? We had a, you had some powerful questions I want to go over. Now, one of them was, of course, it was the eighties. What were your questions? So my questions that I uh, wanted to know, and uh, thanks for those of you that uh, answer these questions. The first one was, which eighties TV show do you want to see get a reboot? And which ones do you not want to see get a reboot? And then the second question was a follow-up. What were your favorite 80s TV show theme song? Whoa. Yeah. It uh, made people think. I like to make people think. I didn't think I was going to get a big response, but I did. So I was pretty excited about that. All right. Let's go over these powerful responses. All right. Uh, so Joe, uh, one that he wants to see get rebooted is Cheers. Um, it, although it could be his favorite theme song, too. He didn't really quite. Did you that. like Cheers? I did like Cheers. Yeah, I was a big Cheers guy. Actually, when we were kids growing up, if if we were still awake when Cheers came on, we knew we were up past her bedtime. Whoa, who is your favorite character on Cheers? Woody. Has to be Woody, right? Woody was your favorite. Yeah, I liked Woody. Woody was good. Who is your least favorite? Oh, uh, Robin Colcourt. Whoa, deep pull. Tell the fans of Flock of Amish, if they're not familiar, who is that character? Robin was the boyfriend of uh, Kirstie Alley's character. Uh, he was the millionaire boyfriend that would fly in and out. And uh, every time Sam thought he had a chance with, uh, I can't even remember Kirstie Alley's character's name on that show. Uh, you know, Robin I think it was Norm. Norm. Yeah, probably you're right. You bet you're right. Coach was another good one. I liked Coach before he uh, passed away. He was good. He was uh, very curmudgeon y. He was, yeah. He, uh, I think he had the like a lot of the best scenes. Uh, I, although I think he ad libbed most of his lines. Really? Yeah, I think that was the rumor. I liked one around. where someone was talking about something. They're like saying unbelievable thing, and he goes, "Get out of here!" And they go, "What? You don't believe me?" And he goes, "No, I just want you to get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Uh, I love some of the like the uh, the scenes they would show before the show actually started, and a lot of the best ones were coach when he would just do things to try to make the cast crack up and they would keep him in there and that was uh that was pretty funny so that was entertaining so remembering back what 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 started out so cheers was on later what were the earlier ones the lead up uh well to that one so that was when it was in syndication um because it was on nbc for a long time so uh when my parents would watch the syndicated uh, episodes it was on after the 10 o'clock news on channel 11. Whoa, local. Yeah. yeah. Care TV. Care TV, that's right. I always forget, you know, because when I do radio, it's usually a local audience, and I forget that your uh, your flock of Amish are worldwide. Powerfully worldwide. 
this uh, with this powerful COVID nineteen. What do you call it? COVID nineteen Corona. Let's say China. Uh, I go back and forth. It depends on how much effort I want to put into pronouncing the word. But I, I like COVID nineteen. That's got a it's got a nice ring, powerful ring to it. Powerful makes it sound more dangerous. Speaking of powerful, I just put a powerful new merch. You're gonna have to check it out. Powerful T-shirt. I survived the great toilet scare of 2020. Ooh, where can we get that powerful merch? Go to my powerful website, AmishBabyMachine.com. I'm going to need you to go there and enjoy my new merch. Also, powerful social media, Twitter, at AmishBeeMachine. I'm literally on there 24-7 talking to the flock of Amish. Follow us on Instagram, AmishBabyMachine, YouTube. All of our powerful audio is uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to need you to subscribe there. Everywhere that you can enjoy powerful podcasts, we're there. Stitcher, Podbean, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Pandora. It doesn't matter. We're on there. That's uh, it's a lot of stuff. Do I have to download all of them? Or can you I do, just you do. pick one? You're, you know, you're going to need to download everything. Oh, Binge listen. While you're trapped in your bunker... Trapped in your metal shipping container. Enjoy our show, please. And enjoy Mike Rez, powerful Mike Rez radio. The 945 show. I am also available on everything that you said, except for Podbean and Stitcher. I'm not available on those, but everything else. And if uh, you go check out uh, Mike Rez radio on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you'll be able to find links to all of it. Powerful. Now let's get back to some more of those responses on your powerful social medias all right so joe joe said uh one one show he does not want to see get rebooted uh do you remember the show out of this world tell us tell the flock of amish all right so out of this world is about a uh i believe she was either junior high or high school girl who has superpowers because her dad was an alien yes and uh i i looked up the uh the theme song because i couldn't remember the theme song um and now I can't think of how it goes, otherwise I'd sing it. But Whoa, I thought you looked it up. I did, I know, I said I did, and as soon as I said it, it, it escaped me. Um, I do remember, um, if you look it up on YouTube after you get done listening to the Amish Baby Machine. Uh, Why don't you podcast. make a powerful show note? Okay, I will. Write that down. You're going to be the Google boy today. <laughs> powerful. We need a Google boy or girl, let me know. Hit us up, Twitter, at Amish B Machine. Just come knocking on the bunker. There's a special knock. We'll let you know what it is, and then we'll let you in. All right. Uh, do you want to? Uh, here's one for you. How about Punky Brewster? Oh my God, I loved Punky Brewster. Yeah, I think they are remaking that one though. Katie, Katie came up with that one. Uh, she's from the radio station WFNU. Uh, she also says a yes to Shira. Soul Moon Fry, Punky Brewster. Punky Brewster. Powerful. You're right. Her dog was powerful too. What was the name of her dog? I should know. Let's look it up. All right. You look, look it, it up, up right now. I'll look it up. All right. You look it up and I'll keep looking going up with Katie's Punky list. Punky Brewster is dog's name. All right. So the other uh, shows on Katie's list are a small wonder. Oh, yes. So is that the robot, right? The robot kid? Yes. Uh, yes to head of the class. Uh, she would like to see Golden Girls. Would you want to see the Golden Girls redone? I want, want, I want to see the Golden Girls redone. But with the cast of the Expendables, what do you think? <laughs> that would be sweet. But we still got to get Betty White in there because she's the. Uh, well, she's still alive. She's still alive. Uh, you can't do that on television. You remember that? Did you watch that one? That was on Nickelodeon, and that was uh, Alanis Morissette's breakthrough TV show. Whoa! It says here is Brandon. The dog's name was Brandon. Brandon. Yes. I don't remember that, but we'll go with it. It's on the internet. It's got to be real. Punky Brewster. It's a show about a girl named Penelope Punky Brewster. She is an aban- she's abandoned with her dog at a supermarket. What? <laughs> you don't remember that part? Oh, my God. My goodness. I, I erased or it from you, my memory. Did you not remember? The, no, I erased that, it from my memory. It was really? horrible. Yeah. Those poor girls abandoned in a grocery store. In a grocery store. God, do you think they had, they probably had toilet paper back then. They probably did, yeah. Uh, how how would you do that? Would you say, hey, do me a favor. Go get the broccoli. I forgot to get the broccoli. I'll stay here in the cereal aisle. Oh, my God. And you come back and... Powerful Punky Brewster. 
mom and dad are gone. Now, what was the old dude's name, too? They had an old grandpa on there, too. They did. Um, I want to say Max because every old guy name in TV shows was Max. Why is that? It's easy to say. It reminds me of the powerful, very special episode of Different Strokes. You remember that? When Dudley and uh, Arnold and the, and the creepy uh, pedophile guy. Oh, yeah, the uh, old guy. You know who was in that one? Mrs. Garrett. Yes, Mrs. Garrett. Powerful. Yes. Yep. Spinoff show. Voice yes. Facts of Life. Yes. And uh, that was that's one I personally would like to see redone. Different Strokes or Facts of Life? Facts of Life. No, not Different Strokes. That had its, ran its course. I don't oh, want to see that one. I love I love different strokes. Mr. Drummond. Who who wouldn't want their dad to be Mr. Drummond? <laughs> um, the theme song to that one was sung by. The theme to different strokes. Yep. Oh, you're killing me. Uh, well. Powerful. That's what I do. Powerful. Who did it? Alan Thicke. Did he? He did. He sang it, too. God. Yep. That's actually my porn name, too, Alan Thicke. Alan Thicke. Powerful. Phil Collins is my other porn name. <laughs> Huge Grant, another one of my porn names. Man, you got them. You got them yes. all. Michael J. Cox. Yes, there's lots of them. There's yeah. Powerful. Do you have any more? That's enough. Okay. All right. Um, do you remember Erie, Indiana? I didn't watch it. I remember when it came out. I remember the name. I don't. I don't. I don't think I ever watched. It's very it. haunting. Here's one, uh, so Katie also has a double yes, and this is one that I like, and I think, I think you might enjoy this one, Quantum Leap. Redo that one. You would redo Quantum Leap. Who would you have? Who would do the fine roles of, what was it, Scott Dracula? Was that his name? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. I yeah. think you're right, yep. Scott Wackula. Yeah. Uh, that who, was my, one of my porn names, too, Scott wow. Wackula. Is that uh, just video cams on that one, though, right? Strictly beta. Oh, uh, makes sense. Uh, would you want to see MASH redone? You know, I didn't like MASH. You didn't like I, it? I wasn't. MASH, Cheers, those are those. Didn't like I, I, I didn't those, enjoy huh? those, no. Okay. And I didn't like uh, I didn't like Hawkeye. I didn't like any of the characters. But I do love McLean Stevenson. Hello, Larry. What a powerfully fine show that was. Now, you're, uh, you're hitting me up with the trivia. What was that a spinoff of? Hello, Larry. I don't know. I don't think I even heard of Hello, Larry. Different Strokes. Who was Larry in Different Strokes? Hello, Larry was his friend, a powerful uh, radio broadcaster. Okay. And one of the daughters was Kim Richards from Escape from Witch Mountain. Oh, man. It was also uh, Paris Hilton's aunt. Check out those uh, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. I was going to say, who's related to Kevin Bacon in that I can't do that. Oh, um, so th- speaking of Alan Thicke, favorite theme song for Katie, Growing, Growing Pains. It is a powerful theme song. It is. It's, uh, it's catchy. It is. Growing so, Pains, my favorite character was Boner. That I was could Mike see that. Sierra's friend. Yep, I could see that. Um, Mike Stabone. St- <laughs> Stabone. Uh, Bob. Writes in, he would like. To are these real, real people? Or are you just making? Yeah, this no, show? I'm Bob just, and Katie, Katie. They're a little too generic. Joe. Yeah, I know. I have, I have great friend names. <laughs> I would say their last name, but I don't want people to, you know, fans to go crazy. Your, your flock might like it's, be like these guys are no, super cool, powerful flock, powerful, We're very powerful welcoming. Flock. Right now, I'm going to need you to hold up your drink. Whatever you guys are drinking right now, please hold it up in the air. I'm drinking a. Powerade, powerful purple, purple drink. Hold yours up, like okay. Rez. I got it. Are you drink? What are you drinking? Tell the fans of Flock of Uh, well, right now I have a Dasani water. Uh, that was uh available because of your your powerful refrigerator. Yes. Um, and then uh, I had just finished a holiday coffee because coffee is life, but it's a hundred percent arabica beans. I don't know what that means, but that's powerful. Yeah. All my beans are Arabica. All right, hold your drink up. Toast. Toast. Salute. Cheers. Not the powerful 80s TV show, but (laughs) cheers to all of you. God bless you, fans and flock of Amish. How many many do you think are in your flock? Like if you had to throw a number on it. One billion. That's a powerful number. Right. 
All right. So Bob writes, uh, would you want to see the A-Team redone? I don't think I would, but Bob does. There was the A-Team movie. Yeah. So who, if you had to reboot the A-Team, who would you put in there? Uh, well, I think The Rock, because I think he's con- contractually obligated to be in every action, anything now. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. Would you put Vin Diesel in it? you got to be kidding me. Why, why are all the action stars bald now? Uh, that is also in their contract. Jason Statham, bald. The Rock, bald. They're all bald. Vin Diesel. Yeah. Um, was, um, what's his name? Um, the guy from uh, Die Hard. Why can't I think of his name? Kurt Russell? Yes. Yeah. He's, yes. he's bald. Kurt Russell is bald. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that is. That's a good question. I bet if we Google some of them, they would all be bald. Yes. That would be uh, interesting. Speaking of the guy from Die Hard, uh, his show back in the day. Moonlighting. Moonlighting. Yeah, that was a good one. I think Teddy Pendergrass did that theme song. Or really? Somebody. Somebody did. Somebody. It was cool, though. It was, it was, I think everything you've been saying on this whole show is bullshit. I think I'm, you're right. Could yes. be. Yes. So, but if you didn't call it out, no one would know. You're right. So, uh, do you remember the Moonlighting theme song? I do, but I can't sing it because we have too many fans. If I sing, then it just brings more in. <laughs> and then I, my bandwidth gets overwhelmed. Oh, right. Yeah. Your downloads would go through the roof. <laughs> they would. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm going to look up to see who sang that because now it's bothering me. So I, I would hate to give your flock the wrong Now, can you multitask? I'm going to ask you a question. This is an age-old question. Okay. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Um, yeah. Did, I think we went over this on when you were on my show, too. Whoa. Yeah. So it's full circle. It is. Yeah. Uh, I think it is. What about you? I do not. Why not? I just think it's an action film that happened to take place Christmas. At Christmas time? Uh, if, if Die Hard isn't, is Die Hard 2? No, none of the Die Hards. Well, uh, what about, uh, Jingle All the Way? Yes, that is a Christmas movie. Yeah, uh, with, uh, a guy who has hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Al Jarreau. Al Jarreau. So, not Teddy Pendergrass. I made that up. I just want to make sure the flock knows that I'm... I'm trying to trying to do right by them. And look up different strokes for me too. Okay. Who did the theme song? Oh, we already went over this. Alan no, you Fair. didn't look it up. Okay. I'll only believe it when you look it up. <laughs> How do you spell strokes? Yeah, uh, don't type it in incorrectly. You'll various adult websites will show up. And say, did I do an image search on that? Images. There was a powerful uh, show, later. Thick of the Night, too. It was a powerful talk show with Alan Thick that I enjoyed. Oh, there, there he is, is Alan, Alan Thick. Alan Thick. God bless his soul. The world God rest don't his soul. move to the beat of just one drum. Something to his soul. Soul man, powerful. Soul man. Movie? Is, yes. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yes. Uh, do you remember uh, Walk Like a Man? Refresh me. What is Walk Like a Man? That was a... Uh, a movie about a, a guy who was raised by wolves and his parents find him and uh, they try to raise him uh, like that. And he, they got to like break the pack of wolves mentality. Whoa. Yeah. I do enjoy Encino, man. Encino, man. I like that one that was too. Powerful. You, did you wheeze the juice? Yes. <laughs> what a powerful comedian he was. Polly Shore, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. Or, he doesn't. Or does he? Does he? I don't know. He does in my world. Okay. Would you want to watch a reboot of uh, Knight Rider or Airwolf? What would you use for a car? For Knight Rider? Yeah. You wouldn't use a Tesla. That'd be too wimpy. Yeah. It would run out of power, too, in the middle of every shoot. Yes. You'd have to plug it in. Um, it would have to be a Dodge, wouldn't it? Some kind of Charger? I don't know. Chargers, there's too many of them. Well, then that's There's too perfect. many versions of them. You see them everywhere. Right. What about, uh, I guess it would be whoever paid the most money to be in the show. Wouldn't matter who it is. I mean, if Tesla put up the most money, they would, it would be a Tesla. Would you still call it Kit, or would you change the name? Yeah, that's a good question. What would you call it? I don't have any answers for that. Well, you should. If you have answers, friends, flock of Amish, hit us up. 
at Amish Bee Machine. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. We're always on there, always willing to talk to the peeps. What other powerful questions did you have? Um, well, Emily, there's another one. Emily, my friend Emily. Uh, one of the ones that she wants to see, The Wonder Years, which was classic, uh, Fred Savage. How about Booze and Buddies? Oh, Booze and Buddies. Powerful. Mm-hmm. That was uh, Billy Joel, I believe, did the theme song in that. You're right. I think you're right. Yes. Uh, Tom Hanks has the corona. I heard that, yeah. The rona. Yeah. Did you see uh, Rita Wilson put out a video the other day uh, just to tell people that she's okay? She sang to Hip Hop Hooray by Naughty by Nature. Wow. Yeah. I guess she's okay. Well, if she's okay, then I'm okay. Well, there you go. Um, what about, uh, LA law or 30 something? Were you an LA law or 30 no, something no, guy? No, 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 I like, uh, sitcoms. Never got into the eighties drama shows. Uh, yeah, I think you were, I wasn't really old enough to really get into them. I probably would have, but I, uh, I did a lot of the, the other shows, uh, on Instagram, Thunder Eric, who is a member of Magenta Vice who is also affiliated with Nitro Wave TC, which we'll get into Whoa. on a different show. Um, he wrote that he would love to see, uh, or at least um, he was telling us that he got square pegs on DVD, and the importance of that was seeing Devo on there when he was 12. And I don't think it quite lived up to his remembrance hype. Are we not men? We are Devo. You know, people laughed at me when I bought that Devo suit. The yellow Devo suit I'm wearing now. They're yeah. not laughing now, are they? No, they're not. Powerful I, I, hazmat suit. I haven't laughed since no. I've been And I'm there. also wearing the powerful energy dome hat. It's not a flower pot. It's a powerful energy dome that focuses my power. You know what those look like, those hats, and, and especially the one you're wearing right now? Remember uh, back, I think it was back in the 90s when they used to have the suckers by the cash register at all the gas stations? It would be on those red tiered plastic. Yes. Powerful that, pyramid ziggurat, yeah, powerful that, focusing the energy of the cosmos right now. Right now, fans, Flock Vomish, I want you to put your hand out and I'm going to send out healing energy right now. Put your hand out, I, Rez. I can feel it. Put hold your on, hand hold out. on. I got to put down Don't my fuck powerful around, drink. right? Hold on. Put your right, hand out. There right. we go. There we go. Powerful healing energy. There we go. You're healed right there. We got to, <laughs> we should really put video to these. I want yes, people to I see know. that we we're actually get a, doing well, we this Well, we got to do stuff. these because all these uh, bullshit actors, they're just, trying to get, they're just trying to get clout. I don't even think they have the Rona. I think it's bullshit. You think I so? I think they're just putting out videos. Like, you saw Madonna in her bathtub in the flower petals? The I, I missed petals. that one. Tell us about that one. I missed that. What is that all about? Well, Madonna's sitting in a bathtub full of milk and the rose petals, and she's crying about how she's rich and the Rona is going to get her. What, you don't do that? Well, I was going to do the, what I was going to do is I'm in the bathtub with muscle milk floating. Oh, what flavor? Uh, I enjoy the chocolate muscle milk. Okay. So you're in a bathtub with chocolate muscle milk. Yeah. But that might look kind of poopy. So I'll just do the vanilla. Okay. And then, and then I want powerful, uh, strawberry pop tarts floating. In the package or out of the package? Well, that's funny. You said that someone, uh, powerfully mentioned that on Twitter at Amish B machine. And at the end of this powerful show, stick around. We're going to do powerful shout outs. And that I, person I like will that. be mentioned. All right. They will be out of the, the powerful packaging. Okay. That packaging is powerful. I think it could resist the heat of the space shuttle, the re entry. Yeah. You remember those powerful ceramic tiles? I think you can also uh, use the wrapping. I mean, you know, when people are in shock or they need to warm up faster. Yes. You can wrap people in. Yes. In powerful. The Pop-Tart. Powerful. Re- retains and reflects their body heat. Yeah. It's survival. Yeah, I think it, that's uh, a good way to do it. All right, let's... Uh, I think we got a couple on Twitter, too, so let me fly over to the tweet machine. Uh, you can catch my Twitter at Mike Res Radio if you want to follow me. Do you do the... Are you caught up on the followers numbers? Like a lot of people are. What do you mean? Like people... Uh, and And I did this a while ago just to get me up to 400 when people are like, I'm only three away from 600. Get me there, everybody. Do you do that? Do you get caught up in the number of followers? No, I don't care. It's it's just natural. People want to follow. They want the power. 
and I want to give it to them. Nice. I want to give them the power. All right. You know, I feel sorry for like horror fans. You know, they can only have, they can only follow 666 people. Right. The potheads can only have 420. Yeah. See, I'm not. You don't want to limit by that. I'm not limited. Yeah. Look at my hands right now. That's just I see that. Yeah. I uh, like the we air should be you're on squeezing. Video. Yeah, the air you're squeezing almost popped right there. It yes, it was a powerful cavitation. Right. Uh, Hugo's post podcast. All right, so you can find Hugo post podcast at Hugo post. Hugo's post, excuse me, H U G O S P O S T S. If I T S, too many S's in that Hugo. Uh, Charles in charge, but not with Scott Bayo. How would Scott, you replace Well, Scott, Scott Bale? Bale got a bad rap because he's a hardcore right wing, but I love Scott Bale and I love Buddy Lembeck. God, can you imagine having a friend like Buddy Lembeck? No. God, he's a powerful friend. He would do anything for you, Buddy Lembeck. What about the Silver Spoons? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Ricky Schroeder. That just but he did have my head. he did have powerful stand up arcade games, though. I always He'd, enjoyed that. Right. He wants to be known as Rick Schroeder now. Oh. Oh, it's all right. It is. So let, let me ask you, who is your, who would you want as, out of all the powerful sitcoms, mm-hmm. 80s shows, whatever, who, who would you want as a best friend off of those TV shows? Oh, that's a good question. Um, what about the, does it have to be one that I, I uh, mentioned or can it be one that just- It can be around? anything you want. Okay. The guy from uh, Greatest American Hero, the, the teenager with the superpowers. Yes, I remember. Talk about a powerful theme song. Right, yeah. And a powerful afro, too. Yeah, I mean, who would not want to have somebody who can throw people halfway across the screen? I think that's that would be important. I love, like, the, the special effects of the 80s, especially when it came to superheroes. They just slowed it down. And it was, everything was in slow motion. That's how you knew their superpower was being used. Yes. So, Bionic Woman. Yes. So there, there's a, a funny clip that I saw. It was going around a couple of years ago about the bionic woman. In one of the episodes, she crushed a head of cabbage in slow motion with the... the I background. don't want to know what she used to crush it, though, do I? Uh, no, you probably don't want to know. I don't think we can talk about it. I think the FCC would actually come in and... No, we are not bound by oh, that's those right. powerful gr- yeah, government see, groups. See, that's another... We're freedom. This is freedom. Podcasts are so yes, fun. Yes, freedom. Jeez, We're free please. America right now. Right. Uh, the Great American Hero. Um, what about Falcon Crest? You remember... Fa- did you watch Falcon... You no, didn't get I into did. the drama. I said, I don't, said I don't get, get the into dramas. The dramas. No, uh, Fine, forget Dynasty it. and no, no. Dynasty. But Simon and Simon. I forgot about that one. Any of the Bob Newhart shows? He had like 40 of them. He did. They were all Bob, Bob Newhart, Newhart. It was kind of cool, though, how it ended. Do you remember? Yeah, he woke up in his bed. Yeah, and it was a dream? <laughs> yeah. That was brilliant. You got to admit, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet, yeah. I, I did like that. I was thinking about that. It, it did make me think of a whole bunch of old 80s shows I used to watch. So some I forgot. Uh, Perfect Strangers. Oh, yes. With Belky. Was that his name? Belky? Cousin, cousin Belky, yeah. Cousin Belky. What, what country was he from? Did they ever Mepos, see? the island of Mepos. Mepos, okay. I mean, where is that on the map? Have they been hit with COVID-19 yet? They're uh, powerfully surrounded by uh, ships. It's powerful. There's a flotilla protecting the island mm. of Mepos. Nobody in, nobody out? Now, do you think this is real, the, the Rona? Do I think it's real? Yeah. You think we're all going to die? What's up? Um, there is a certain inevitability I have a few, that's the feeling I have. Cause I, I just heard that 40 to 80% of us will get it depending on who you are and what you have going on. You may or may not have symptoms, but you could still have it and not know it. Can you imagine 80% of the world's population having this? You know, it's crazy. I'm a powerful extrovert. I don't want to be trapped. I need to touch the people, the fans of Flock of Amish. We have to do it from six feet away. Now. No, I don't. I don't have to. Is it going to be cool? Is it going to be like cool uh, those survival movies with the cops and? Gee, I hope so. Runner and they're gonna <laughs> get their, oh my god, Logan's run and maybe they're just trying to get rid of all the old people. 
You think that's what yes. they're doing? That's what this is all about? Yeah, maybe it's some evil bio weapon. Oh, it's. Do you notice it's not affecting the kids as much? Right. It's just affecting think the old people. The millennials and Gen Z had something to do with yes. this? Yes. The most Every- powerful generation is Generation X. I, I agree with you. Yes. Powerful. Uh, as a member of that generation. Yes. We're the only generation that had technology and didn't have technology at the same time. Oh, we have technology. High technology, low technology, powerful Amish technology. How does that work, being Amish, having all this equipment in the barn? I'm progressive. Progressive Amish. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. The solar panels were a nice touch. Yes. So what do you do when the sun goes down, though? Powerful moon. Ah. Moonshine. Moonshine. Yes. Do you have any more of that? We do. All right. Powerful. Where the moonshine also uh, acts as a powerful hand sanitizer, too. I think it has to. You can also use it to uh, light your fires in the trash can when you need it, because we're going to have that, too. We're just going to be a society of standing around trash can fires. Oh, kind of like uh, Rocky. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, we're going to sing songs. Take it back. Yep. Do, 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 do. Take it back. You know who sang that song? Um, No. Alan Thick? No, it wasn't Alan Thick. It was Frank Stallone. Okay, I was going to say, I know his brother, that's his brother he's giving a handshake to when he walks by in the movie. Frank Stallone. All right. Did, uh, how was his music career? Did that go anywhere? Doesn't matter. He's Frank Stallone. Okay. He's powerful. There was a, uh, a TV show. I don't think it got past the pilot stage, but it was all of the brothers of famous actors playing themselves as famous brothers of actors. Billy Carter? Uh, possibly. I know Patrick Swayze's brother was in it. Uh, Frank Stallone was in it. And there was a couple other brothers, but it didn't get past the pilot stage. Yeah. Now, uh, on a powerful upcoming episode, we are going to enjoy talking about a movie starring Patrick Swayze. Yeah, starring quite a few people, actually. Oh, wasn't that... Well, just... just we're we going to tease you. Just, just, yeah. just, I'm going to tell you there's powerfully... Full of 80s stars. Right, yeah. I don't think anybody knew that they were going to be stars at that time. Now, I'm going to need you to talk a little bit about uh, Nitrowave TC and what that's about. Right now? Well, a little bit. Okay. Tell the fans of Flock Moms. We're going to tease them? Yep, because we're going to... That'll be on the next episode. Okay, so Nitrowave TC. Uh, you've had a couple members of Nitrowave TC on. Uh, people have to go back yes. into the Amish archives. And uh, check it out. Um, but uh, yeah, so we are a community. I say we like I'm a musician. Uh, <laughs> I just make sure they get to get work. Although there's no work out there right now for musicians. Um, you, they are uh, synth wave, mostly synth wave, some chill wave, some retro wave, dark wave. There's some electronic funk involved and uh, electronic jazz uh, funk, I guess. You yes. Could say. We want the funk. Yeah, so uh, it's, uh, well, I guess we're down to, to nine acts now um, that uh, are part of this community. So we have uh, uh, North Innsbruck, who you've had on the show. Uh, he's part of it. Um, I'm going to try to remember everybody. I probably won't remember everybody. Uh, Denotive, Bad and Rad, um, Steph Wendler is part of it. Uh, Grape Beat is a new addition. Who's that, Grape Ape? Gray, gray vape yeah it's uh it's one of those uh, fruit flavored vapes or did you say ape grape ape grape ape powerful powerful um but anyway uh yeah there's a lot of a lot of people in there um and make sure you download their music uh, if i could get that plug in there as well so magenta vice who thunder eric is a part of they're part of it so here's the deal this is what really stinks about this thing so magenta vice was gonna have their debut on the 29th at the Kitty Cat Club, and that got canceled. Now, hold on. Is th- that band you mentioned, uh, Magenta Vice? Yep. Are they a member of the Nitro Wave TC? Or? Yes, they are an affiliated group. Affiliated. Yeah. We, I, we, we consider everybody uh, affiliated or members. I, I try to stay away from you know, making it sound like Nitro Wave owns their rights to everything because they're all solo acts, and they're all part of us you know part of the community so now does a member have to wear a members only jacket well yeah that's part of the deal oh god yeah powerful if if they don't nobody knows that they're part of it 
So, and, and people can find Nitro Wave all over the, the interwebs as well on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just check out Nitro Wave TC. You'll find us. Oh, and we have some powerful merch as well on T Public. You can find us there. Just look up Nitro Wave TC. Powerful merch. I have merch there too for the 945 show. Uh, on you T do? Public. Yes. Tell so. the fans of Flock of Amish. I want to. I want to get everyone's merch out. Everyone, we we need to come together and help everyone in this time of powerful bio weapons and bat induced viruses and it's going bat shit crazy around yes here. yeah so if everyone goes to t public so if they search uh mike res radio or the 945 show uh, or nitro wave tc they'll find uh find everything uh, on there and if they go to your website they can find your merch what's your website powerful homage baby machine.com okay just want to make sure everybody gets there and you'll find uh uh, my website as well. I'm not going to give out the the entire web address, but you'll find that on Facebook because, you know, I'm cheap. I do the free website, so it's got like a thousand words in it. So, um, but uh, go to the Facebook page and you'll find it there. And then you'll you'll actually see my sponsor too for the show. I just picked up a sponsor for my Whoa. podcast. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. A lot of fun though. So now I just got to make sure that I sell enough product for them, for them to keep me. <laughs> I don't think people understand the, the pressure that podcasters go through to keep sponsors, to get sponsors. Under pressure. Oh, my God. I love that song. Did you hear the story of that that came out after the movie? Go ahead. Out? Tell us. So apparently uh, Freddie Mercury and David Bowie hated each other. Couldn't stand each Whoa. other. Yeah. I mean, weird, right? So they were trying to one up each other to see how late the other one could be to record that song. And apparently Freddie Mercury won. As one day, I guess uh David Bowie was a couple hours late. So Freddie Mercury was like six or seven hours late the next day. And then that pretty much just ended whatever feud they had because they they were just trying to one up each other to see who could show up the latest. That's how much they hated each other. Wow. Never understood the hate. Me either. Aren't we all supposed to love each other? Yes. Powerful six love. Six feet away. Yes, powerful love by distance. Queen did have powerful bass lines, though. All their songs. Yeah. I mean, Another One Bites the Dust and, you know, Under Pressure and powerful bass lines. Yeah. I heard uh, one of the, the bands I interviewed for my show told me one way to know uh, when a band is just about to make it is when they replace the drummer and the bassist. For example. Oh, God, I, they didn't give me an example. They just said, you know, just any any band that if you see those two members get replaced, the band probably just got signed and the and the record label got rid of those two first. Well, it's weird. Rush had one album and then the the new drummer was Neil Peart and the rest is history. Right. You're a big Rush guy, right? You oh, huge. Rush. Yeah. Love the rush. What uh what what's your favorite album? Do you have a favorite album or is as a rush fan are you obligated to like all of them? Well, you know, there's there's different progressions or progressive rock, prog rock bands, you can see how they changed. Yep. I mean the quintessential album is Moving Pictures. Okay. And there's everything left or right of that. But I actually like it all. Okay. Is there a uh, name for the fan club, like Rush Heads or Rushers? Or That's slow, a good question. Slow down, stop rushing. A flock of Rush? Flock of Rush. I won a Snakes and Arrows CD on the radio one day. Powerful. That was the only Rush album that I ever owned, but I didn't own it for very long because I knew a guy who was a huge Rush fan, and I gave it to him. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. So it was, it was more for him than for me anyway. Yeah. The, I think we talked about this on your... Uh... Did we? I think because I remember I got, we got hit by a guitar pick. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, flying guitar pick, which is cool. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah. See, people won't have to go back and listen to the show you were on because we're talking about everything else. No, we, we're going to need you to go to Mike Rez Radio. Also enjoy his powerful podcast. Yeah, that one uh, was in December that we recorded that one. Powerful. Yeah, so go back and, and find, uh, it was the middle of December. Yeah, today, uh, this is a powerful podcast. We've been off. On a hiatus. 
You like that word, hiatus? I don't even know what it means, but I think that's what we were doing. Can we spell it? Should we try to spell no, it without no. looking it up? I, I don't like spelling. I don't like math. All I'm trying to say is we weren't here, and now we're back. So please enjoy us. And I just want to say thanks for having me as your first show back from hiatus on here. But I'll be back again. I think. Yes. I got a feeling that Mike Rez is going to be here more than oh, not man. here. Do you, do you think the flock's going to like that? I don't yes. know. Yes. It's like changing a character in mid sitcom. Oh, there's no changing. It's just, it's, it's progression. We're like a prog podcast. Is that how you say it? All the kids like that prog. Yeah. I'm going to, speaking of uh, fans of Flock and Amish, I'm going to give some shout outs. You got shout outs? Powerful shout outs. I love shout outs. Number one, shout out. Wait, whoa, whoa. We, what? If you're going to do a list, you got to go from backwards and then. No, I'm not. Uh, this is number one. And then I'll do B, C, X. I told you, I don't do math. And it's in, what do they say? In no particular order? In no particular order, yeah. They always say that, but they're lying, aren't they? I mean, there's yeah, an order. Yeah, there, there's an order. Yeah, I know. There's always an order. You know, if I'm on more, I'll be giving away some radio secrets. I don't think I should, whoa. but I think I will. But we will, those are other episodes. We won't do that. Tonight. Powerful. All right. The Rook and Titus podcast. Whoa. The Ha podcast. Whoa. Third floor podcast. Third floor. What happened to the first two? I don't floors? know. I don't. I told you that's math. And the Steph Wendler. You've heard of her, haven't you? The Steph Wendler? Yeah. You've heard of her, right? I've, I've heard of her. Yeah, a little bit. She wears jeans with sequins. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> Gorilla Brain Podcast, Movie Machine Podcast, Ugo's Podcast, you mentioned before, yeah. Hugo's Podcast. You know a lot of people with the last name Podcast. I do. I think they're all related. It's kind of like uh, Big Booty and the Boote. Do you remember that powerful 80s movie? No. I'm gonna, right. Should I look that up? Yeah, no, don't look it up. Okay. I'll tell you later what movie all that's right. from. Everyone was named Big Booty, their last name. Think Funny Podcast, Infinity Bros Podcast, Whoa. Keys Bartender, Eric Elliott has a powerful uh, Batman Meets Godzilla comic book, MacGyver SG-1 audio series, The Movie Virgins Podcast, Wolfwire Media, Happy Hour Gets Weird Podcast, mm. The GOH Pod Podcast, I don't know, it's Gold Pod, The Geeky Podcast, Blitz Gamer, the Happy Mastiff, Man Cave Musing, Retro Rock Reviews Podcast, Inside Oz Podcast, and The Basement Surge, and many more. I tried to get in as many as I could. That's awesome. Like I said, though, you, you know a lot of people. Their last name is Podcast. I want to know how a lot of those people came up with their names for their podcast. Buckaroo Bonsai, by the way. It was Big Booty. Buckaroo Bonds? Buckaroo Bonsai. Did you see that movie? No. All right. Is that another one I should look up? Yes. You're going to need to watch that. Image search it? Or is no, that just, safe? Or just is watch that... it later. Okay. You've heard of RoboCop, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. RoboCop. Ro- yeah, he's in there. Peter Weller. Yes. Peter Weller stars in Buck Rubanza. I'm going to need you to watch that immediately. Okay. It was a powerful episode today. You think Thank so? Thank you for yeah. going through the roadblocks coming from Reddit Sector A. Right. That's a powerful Rush reference, by the way. I bet it is. Thank you. I know it is. Thank you for journeying here. Thank you for keeping your six foot distance. Always. Thank you for wearing that lingerie. Yes. I'm going to have to come up with something more risque on the next show. I don't know. Don't take that risk, please. Okay. Powerful. Thank you. We're back. The powerful Amish Baby Machine Pop Culture Podcast. We're back. and We're in full effect. Any parting words? Uh, be safe and uh, that's it. Just be safe because powerful. We need you to listen. Powerful. And until next time, you've just enjoyed the Amish Baby Machine Pop Culture Podcast. Thank you for listening to the Amish Baby Machine Pop Culture Podcast. It is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and everywhere else fine podcasts are found. Please support our podcast through Patreon and and shop our merch at AmishBabyMachine.com. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. This has been an Amish Baby Machine production.